All right, man, let's talk about, uh, what's the brother's name? Uh, Hendon Hooker, kind of why I'm not comfortable or other people won't be comfortable with Hendon Hooker being the backup, and I'm calling for him to bring in Ryan Tannehill. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel or another quarterback. Um, people may be wondering why Tannehill ain't signed. I said that real quick. <laughs> Probably waiting for a quarterback injury or somebody disappointing preseason or camp. Therefore, uh, an opportunity opening up for him. Um, but um, the reason why, you know, obviously Subfield is trash. I mean, I don't think he had bad number three. He just, he was terrible in preseason. Maybe the rain has something to do with it. Give him a benefit of the doubt. But Henry Hooker just ain't got the reps. That's the only problem, you know. And when you get in the regular season, you don't get the reps. All the reps, the majority of the number one reps go to the quarterback. So with a guy that don't have that much experience, you know what I'm saying, that much NFL experience, the reps are going to the reps, you know, are going to the number one guy. So when he do get in there, he get injured, or if something happens to the quarterback or he need to play, whatever it may be, the rep I mean he don't have the reps. He just don't have the experience to get in there and do with a uh uh what's my man's that played at Michigan that backed up uh Patrick Mahomes, Chad Henney. He don't have the experience in the NFL or the reps to do what a Chad Henney done. Come in and play off game and play really, really well. You not have to worry about nothing. But yeah, some do something similar to what, what Chad Henney done. And he just don't have the reps right now. So if he can get back and get healthy enough and start and finish a couple preseason games and he look like he doing good, um, then maybe you feel comfortable doing that. But when, in a lot of people's opinion, which we don't know until the season come, um, we don't know if they're a championship caliber team. But if you shooting for a Super Bowl and a quarterback stop you, you're going to be mad. Anything can happen to the quarterback. So you got to remember that with the New York Giants, that happened with, uh, with, uh, with, um, Damn, with uh, with Phil Sims and they put Hoster, uh, Hosteller in, and he won the Super Bowl. So, yeah, uh, Nick Foles was another one. He just retired uh, the other day. So, kind of when you get in there and you start speaking on, um, you know, replacements and quarterbacks and all that type of stuff, um, you know, you want to make sure you got a solid quarterback, even if it's a Mahomes Chad Henney situation. They need a Chad Henney in there for a moment, for a few moments. You know what I'm saying? And he came through because he got the experience. He got he got the reps. You know what I'm saying? And he has the talent. Some backup quarterbacks, you feel like you don't even have a chance. And that dude, dude from Minnesota last year, he was pretty solid. Who, even though he kept turning the ball over because he got put in after Kirk Cousins got injured. And then picked up Josh Dobbs. And Josh Dobbs got somebody injured, an important injured. And then they went back to this other guy. And he was solid. And with some more experience and some more reps, he gonna learn to take care of the football, and he gonna be solid. I mean, you go down to Dallas with uh, Cooper Rush, he was able to come in and win and win a few games for them. You know what I'm saying? He was able to come in and win a few games. So, um, so kind of we sitting here talking about uh, experience and all that type of stuff. Um, you know, he just, Hendon Hooker got the talent. He just need the reps. He just need the reps. So, um, that's it. He just need the reps. And if he can get the reps in there, and, you know, I think he'll be all right. I think he'll be all right. So, um, it's just the fact of the reps. You know, that's, that's it. That's all that he's missing is the reps. So, if he can get the reps, you can see he can play. Obviously, the, the talent is there. You see him flashing. You see the speed. You see the arm talent. Any, you know, any quarterback that was, you know, plus golf that was on the field, you seen the way that ball jump out his hand. And I'm, you know, I'm shooting this Saturday, and I seen the way the ball jumps out of JJ McCarthy hand. You know. So yeah, that's the that's the whole situation right there, man. So, um. Sorry to cut off and cut back on, but um, 
He just wants the reps. The talent is there, just getting the reps, and that's where you get OTAs, mini camps, training camp. He hurt his finger in, in training camp and all that stuff. So, uh, with him hurting his finger in training camp and all that, and a mini camp, and he hampered over to training camp. You know, right now, I just think when you that that close, if you was a team that kind of was on the rise, still, um, I would say okay, you can you probably can get away with it, but. Um, Got a great offensive line. There's some offensive line depth questions I read about. And when I was seeing them block, and I, I remember Baldy was reviewing uh, the Vecchi, the kid from Utah running the ball, and how good the backup linemen, they was looking pretty good. And they was kind of talking about how bad they look versus Sudfield. With Sudfield in there, um, that might have had something to do with Sudfield and all that type of stuff. I know Manu, he got cooked out there, but he, we knew he was raw. You know, Corey Sillersdale, he got injured. He was supposed to be our, uh, he was, you know, uh, moonlighting that tackle, so you know they let some uh, backup tackles get away. What was the kid name they let get away? Um, uh, was tight end. I don't know if they brought him back. He was a tight end from Iowa or whatever, and um, can't remember his name. So, um, but but uh, was his name like Campbell or something? I can't remember the guy's name. I don't know if he's still in the team. I liked him as a tackle. Uh, they lost some depth. Um, Big V, he provided some depth, but he was just so broken up, he couldn't play anymore. But uh, being a hooker, like I said before, and I was thinking about possibly they could put some packages in there for Hendon Hooker as well, too, but I'm thinking, like, probably not, especially with his inability to know how to slide and avoid contact. And for whatever reason, every young quarterback coming here thinking they can run over NFL players and they can even coming off of ACL and they can run and dive head first and like, I don't understand, like, why they don't learn fat me greasy. Get the fuck down. Only one that, that I can really remember that was mobile, that protected itself, was Russell Wilson. And that might have something to do with him playing baseball. That was the one guy I looked at, and he was able to protect himself, and he had the maturity to protect himself. So, um, but, yeah, I don't, don't really understand it. You know, you ain't a butter law. Ask Andrew Luck, ask Cam Newton. You're not a butt a lot. Learn to protect yourself. You know, when you're young, you think you're invincible. I was talking to somebody young, man. I don't, it might have been somebody in one of my chats or with somebody. And they was like, you think I should, they was got to work with. I should get health care. I'm saying, fuck yeah. Yeah, I forget who I said. Yeah, you know, you're young. You don't think you need shit like that. But, you know, anything can happen. Especially if you out here dating in modern society, you definitely want that protection. Especially if you have a job that, that is anything physical, even though they reimburse you for that. Um, yeah, and they reimburse you for anything physical. But, you know, you got to wait for the reimbursement. Go ahead and pay that, that, that whatever it may be, that 100 extra dollars a month, you know, or 60, 70 extra dollar a month for health care. It'll be worth it in the long haul. I had to talk a couple people into getting, um, I, had to talk, I had to talk a couple other people into, uh, like the flexible spending accounts and the other one. It's the flex spending account and then it's the other account that you got. I forget the name of it. Uh, it's another one you get. They both, you know, got two different. They, they similar, but they different, you know, in, in a few ways. And to get that, you know, pre-tax dollars, you know, out your check that you get to spend on medical, you know, things. So, but, um, yeah, that's all I have. But they show the trade line, start playlist, hit the link tree, find me on X, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal. Apple Podcast, Spotify, the whole nine. Peace.